The fourth generation of the legendary Jeep appeared in 2010. The SUV is built on the second-generation Mercedes-Benz MLW 164 chassis, from which the American SUV borrowed some components and assemblies. At the same time, the SUV is equipped with three all-wheel drive options, quadratrack with an electronically controlled clutch in the drive of the front wheels. Quadratrack 2 is supplemented with a reduction gear. Quadradrive 2 has an electronic locking rear cross-axle differential. Powerful versions of the SUV were equipped with air suspension. At first, the Grand Cherokee was equipped with petrol 3.6-liter V6, 286 horsepower, and V8 with a volume of 5.7-liter, 352 horsepower, and 6.4-liter, 468 horsepower, as well as a 3-liter V6 turbo diesel, 190 and 243 horsepower. The motors were combined with a 5-speed Mercedes, automatic, series 722.6 or W5A580 according to the Chrysler specification. After restyling, which noticeably changed the appearance of the SUV, a 3-liter gasoline V6, 238 horsepower, appeared in the engine range, and the turbo diesel power increased to 250. Horses. True. Diesel modifications were no longer supplied to us. Since 2014, instead of a 5-speed automatic transmission, an 8-speed automatic transmission from ZF has been installed. We officially sell only all-wheel drive versions, although in America there are versions only with rear-wheel drive. But the body is only one, but what? It is indifferent to corrosion. Only the chrome-plated elements of the body surrender to the onslaught of de-icing agents. After just a couple of winters, the coating of the radiator grille and external decorative elements begin to fade. However, these are all minor things. After all, there are, finally, protective chemicals and armored film. However, we must remember that the first cars had problems with the quality of paint on the hood, doors, and front fenders. Some owners have encountered defects in the paintwork of these body elements. Therefore, when buying a used Cherokee, the first thing to do is inspect the doors, hood, and fenders for corrosion. Omnipresent corrosion penetrates under the bottom. Radiators are surrendered to the mercy of God, and the air conditioner heat exchanger begins to leak earlier along with the supply pipes. At the same time, the generator also gets it, but for the most part due to the short-lived diode bridge. A recall company was held for this defect. There have been many complaints about the very fragile windshield. A pebble that flew into it, as a rule, pierced both layers at once external and internal. Therefore, after the first damage, it is better to change it to a non-original one it is cheaper and more practical. In the cabin, after 180,000 kilometers of run, the plastic gears of the climate control damper drive mechanism wear out. Generally reliable engines also have a number of weaknesses. The most popular petrol 3.6-liter V6 of the Pentastar series, like its 3.0-liter brother, with a slightly smaller diameter and stroke of the pistons, suffered from oil cooler leaks in the oil filter module due to leaky gaskets or a cracked housing. The first cars had problems with the exhaust phase shifters and soft camshaft beds, which often wore out after 100,000 kilometers. On these engines, you need to monitor the coolant level leaks usually occur due to cracked plastic thermostat housings. The double circuit oil pump is also at risk. Most of the defects in gasoline, sixes, remained on pre styling models, and since 2017 they have become practically trouble-free. Almost like the legendary, eights, of the Hemi family with a volume of 5.7 liters and 6.4 liters the latter was installed on the flagship version of the SRT. Over many years of production, these motors have survived childhood illnesses and acquired strong immunity. The only echo of past ailments is the problem with the water pump, which can leak before hundreds of thousands of kilometer. Although this is no longer particularly relevant given their decent durability both engines can easily run half a million km with the proper level of maintenance, as well as the quality of fuel and oil. By the way, you also need to monitor the oil level. After all, both V8S are equipped with an MDS, multi-displacement system, half-cylinder deactivation system. 
and an oiled diet leads to failure of hydraulic compensators, which also work as MDS control valves. Among the breakdowns encountered, we also note bursting exhaust manifold studs and camshafts that wear out by 200,000 kilometers. As for the diesel engine, the fourth generation Grand Cherokee was equipped with an Italian V6 3.0 from BM Motori and Fiat powertrain. The engine turned out to be quite capricious. It even got to the point of rotating the bearings and breaking the crankshaft. On the first cars, the turbocharger pipe could also unexpectedly burst. Often the damper in the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system would malfunction, causing the speed to start to fluctuate, and after stopping, a beer-like buzz could be heard from under the hood. If the case is not advanced, regular cleaning of the valve helps, but at the first sign of problems, updating the control unit firmware helps. But the worst thing is if the high-pressure fuel pump starts to wear out. Then the mechanical graders produce chips that scatter throughout the entire fuel system, including expensive injectors. Moreover, they are already at risk. The first signs of clogging are more severe engine operation and increased fuel consumption. Moreover, over the years, the reliability of the motor has not become higher. Maybe that's why diesel modifications stopped being officially sold here in 2014. In the same year, the SUV was no longer equipped with a Mercedes 5-speed automatic. Although cars with this box are often found in the secondary market, the unit has been produced since the mid-90s and managed to get rid of most of its sores, but not all. Mechanics call the box snotty because of the numerous sources of drips through the glands and seals. Therefore, it is necessary to monitor the oil level and not start repairs to replace gaskets. Another well-known problem of the automatic transmission is the failure of the electrical board of the box control unit the torque converter lockup solenoid. All malfunctions are well known to the masters of specialized services, so its repair is relatively inexpensive. Repair of the 8 mortar ZF is required much less often. First, she is still quite young. And secondly, it turned out to be quite reliable. True, due to the unsuccessful design of the automatic transmission selector, a service campaign was held to update the control program free of charge. Let's say more, since 2013, a non-fixed joystick type lever has been installed sometimes it was difficult to understand what mode the box was in. They usually hit drive right away, but with the reverse switch they often missed. Apparently, therefore, since 2017, the previous, but modified switch of driving modes has been returned. Even on the German, automatic, gear changes are well felt, especially down when braking. But not everyone and not so annoying. In addition, you quickly get used to this behavior. The unit was originally declared as maintenance-free, which, however, does not work in our conditions. Therefore, the key to the longevity of the machine is the timely oil change every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. The oil must also be changed in the all-wheel drive transmission, in the gearboxes, transfer case, and in the clutch. Moreover, the iron itself is strong, and it is mainly the control electronics and actuators and servos that suffer. After 150,000 kilometers, the ELSD rear differential lock motor may fail. The transfer case is generally reliable, but over time, the electronic control unit of the box may fail. But the drive chain in the Republic of Kazakhstan is durable and does not cause problems. The appearance of a strong hum in the rear of the machine is most likely caused by worn rear gear bearings. After 2013, the Americans solved this problem by replacing the supplier. But the oil leaks that have appeared on the gearbox housing cannot be ignored. The suspension that the Jeep inherited from the W164 Mercedes proved to be quite solid. It is mainly consumables that fail the silent blocks of the front levers serve up to 150,000 kilometers, and the rear ones often last up to 200,000. Ball joints are usually updated in the range of 150,000 to 200,000 kilometers. But the silent blocks of the rear subframe can wear out after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. It all depends on how you drive. Shock absorbers nurse somewhere plus or minus 120,000 kilometers. The front wheel bearings, 
which are changed as an assembly with the hub, also hold about the same amount. But the rear ones are changed separately, but they last much longer. The air suspension has become noticeably more durable than its predecessor. However, by 150,000 kilometers, the rear pneumatic elements can leak and begin to poison the air. With the replacement of them it is better not to pull. Otherwise, the compressor will die from overload, which will get tired of constantly driving air into leaky cylinders. But the front, pneumatics, are even more durable and can last up to 220,000 kilometers if you do not often drive the car off-road. By the way, the air suspension provided for five options for ground clearance from 165 to 271 millimeters. But there were problems with the brakes, even on fairly recent copies, due to problems with the vacuum booster. If you feel increased effort on the pedals and spontaneous activation of the ABS, the vacuum brake booster has probably failed due to corrosion. It cannot be repaired only replaced. Well, when the brake fluid slowly leaves, but there are no obvious leaks, it means the main brake cylinder is flowing into the vacuum booster. Under replacement at once both knots. In addition, there were problems with the actuator's discs, pads, brake hoses, calipers and other parts. The combination of these problems resulted in a full-fledged recall campaign in November 2017 and February 2018. In the steering, things are better. For desperate riders, traction fails after 100,000 km, and careful drivers change them half as often, along with rail repairs. It can knock or leak after 150 to 200,000 km. Yes, the Grand Cherokee WK2, on the one hand, is not without sores, but on the other, almost all of them are well known. Therefore, you can always find an option that will not blow up the family budget. We recommend petrol versions of the SUV with AV6 and a conventional spring suspension, preferably without unnecessary technically complex bells and whistles.